Safety message for the week of December 11th. How to prevent slips, trips, and falls in the workplace. I think preventive measures are, are still our very best way. I took this from the website and there'll be more detail in the written information that I send you. But here's some thoughts. List below describes how to prevent slips, trips, and falls in a workplace. Establish a risk assessment plan. Install stair treads. Maintain clean and dry working surfaces. Provide floor markings. Utilize warning signs. Remove obstacles. Provide adequate lighting. Insist on correct footwear. Repair uneven or damaged walkways. Ensure stairways have proper handrails. Number one, establish risk plan, the key to slips, trips, and falls prevention. The plan should be the first step in slips, trips, and fall prevention. It will help companies to identify potential causes of slips, trips, and falls. Two, install stair treads. Many slips, trips, and falls at work happen on stairs. To increase traction, reduce that potential of accidents, stair treads can be covered with lightweight bolt-on tread cover with a permanent abrasive polyurethane coating. Something we can do. Three, maintain a dry working surface for ultimate slip, trips, and falls. Good housekeeping practices go a long way. All right, with trips, slips, and falls. Wet, dusty, debris, stuff on the floor, all play a factor. Provide floor markings, visual signs, signals, such as floor markings can direct workers toward hazardous areas where they may be prone to slip, trips, and falls, for an example. Utilize warning signs to indicate trip hazards. Like floor markings, warning signs can also be used to visually inform workers about a potential trip, slip, and fall hazard. Every workplace should have wet floor signs on hand to identify those wet floor hazard areas. Six, remove obstacles to prevent slips and trips at the workplace. Easy thing to do is to help avoid a slip or trip at work. Remove the objects from the floor in the first place. Make sure pathways are free and clear. All right, and this includes the office, by the way. Excuse me. Provide adequate lighting. It's hard to avoid a slip, trip, or fall hazard in areas with poor lighting where workers can't see where they're going. So adequate lighting in all areas of the workplace, inside and out, is absolutely critical. Correct footwear assessment. Workplaces that require certain footwear as part of the dress code or safety shoes should be sure to enforce the policy to help avoid slips in the first place. Nine, repair uneven and damaged walkways. Uneven walk surfaces in work areas can cause a trip, slip, or fall for employees when they least expect it. So, we know something's wrong, let's fix them. And report them, by the way. We gotta report them to make sure we can fix them. 10, improper use of ladders. We don't use ladders for shortcuts. We use ladders to help us to be safe. And then to stay on the ladder and follow the right protocol. And make sure to inspect the ladder before we use it in the first place. Staircase, staircases, make sure they have uh, the correct handrails, all right? Staircases, even short ones, should have proper handrails, encouraging employees to use the handrail. It's the easiest way to prevent them from falling down the stairs. How do slip strips and falls occur? 
They simply occur often when they interchangeable that they are actually three different types of accidents. Slips occur when a person loses their balance or footing without coming into contact with an object. Trips happen when a worker's foot, leg, or body comes into contact with the object, causes them to lose balance. And falls, they result in people, employees coming to rest accidentally on the floor or a lower level. Both trips, slips, and falls, all right? Can happen, do happen, but they also can result in because of the missing of stairways and guardrails in the first place. So let's do the right thing, make the right choices, and make our day and everyone else's day safe by choice. Have a great week, everyone, and please be safe.